talk to me. I open the page, they talk to me. Come on now, brew walk for me. Urban Gorilla, that sauce on me. Yeah, I was shot, paid the cost on me. He the boss man, he got up on that cross for me. He the boss man, he got up on the cross for me. He the boss man, he got up on the cross. I open the page, they talk to me. Come on now, brew walk for me. Urban Gorilla, that sauce on me. Yeah, I was shot, paid the cost on me. He the boss man, he got up on that cross. Then shall the dust return to the earth as it was, and the spirit shall return unto God who gave it's in heaven, right? That verse is talking about when you die, your flesh goes to the ground, but your spirit goes back up to the Lord. There's no, I have to have a point to say, like, why do I have to do I'm my soul, my soul, my soul. My spirit is already going up to heaven. Maybe his boy verse is him. That's why I'm saying, that's why I didn't ask you a question like that, because honestly, if I, after what I know in the Bible, that's all I'm telling you. That's how we know. But that happens to you. I have zero. Here is the problem with that question. I don't, I don't, I don't the, the, the heaven and hell concept that Christians believe in. The heaven, I'm a real YouTuber. The, the heaven and hell concept of the question of what Christians believe in, I don't hold to that because I don't stand the Bible. As far as like, I know the I don't believe in a, a floating angels thing, like a, as far as my white babies up in there. I don't believe that's what heaven is. I believe heaven is a state on earth. Because you see that in Bible. That's what I believe. So as far as as far as the question you ask me, I can't give you an answer that because I don't want to. Do. You know, I'm saying that when it is, I'll say like this way, when it is, it's a cancer by the Lord, that would be heaven. That would be a high state. Heaven is like, you know, like people phraseology, phraseology, not phraseology. You know what phraseology is? Like words, work, like words, you can say your words, right? Like Shemaya. It's like high, high places, high states. That's what heaven is for. So I, I believe that's what it is. Like people wear Shemaya, heaven. I believe that that's a high state, not like a literal word. You die and like, you, gotta, you gotta go up there and tell the Lord, I don't know how to I still don't know what to Stay there forever? I'll show you the video. Oh, wait, wait, second half. Second half. I'll, I'll show you what I'm going to do. Watch this. Watch this. I'll show you, I'll show you what happens when you die. Literally. It's like an entrance to the 14. 14 in verse uh, 35. For after them shall the judgment come when we shall live again. When we shall live again. After that judgment, the Lord gives you, you're going to come back and live again. And then shall the names of the righteous be manifest. The names of the righteous be manifest because when you come back, you're going to come back as a person and the works.
This is Matthew chapter 11 and verse uh, 13. For all the prophets and the law prophesied to John. And if John, the son of Matthew, John Matthew. And if you will receive it, receive the Christ, and you will receive it. This is Elias. Elias. That's the Elias he's talking about. This is him. Because watch this. Give me a mouth. I'll take you slow. I'll take you slow. Watch this. Watch this. Watch this. I want you to. I want you to. I want you to tell me, is this reincarnation or is it not reincarnation? Read through the prophecy and I'm reading what Christ says explaining it. This is the book of Malachi, chapter 4 and verse 5. Behold, I will send you Elijah, the prophet, before the coming of the great and dreadful day of Yahweh. So he said, I'm going to send Elijah for the great and powerful day of the Lord, right? Now watch what Christ says. Man, he's a prophet, right? Elijah the prophet. He made Elijah the prophet. Man, man, he was living in 13. For all the law and prophets, and the pro law prophesied unto John. And if you will receive it, this is Elijah. That's what Elijah is talking about. He's saying John, the John the Baptist, and then Elijah. That's why we, okay, I'll show you another one. We go back to the second one. Doing what? Loving your neighbor. How do you love your neighbor? You walk in all the commandments. 
No, that no, that is over. That's 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 the video. No, no, no. no, no, no. That's the that's the first that's the whole cover, that's the video is nineteen This right here. Watch this. Watch this. Second time. That's it. Love the second time. Second time six. This is the game. James 2 and 8. If you fulfill the royal law according to the scripture, this is how you fulfill it. Thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself and do well. This is the book of St. John, chapter 2. That's like 2 John, chapter 1 and 6. And this is love that we, that we walk after his commandments. What is it, God? That we walk after his commandments. This is the this is the commandment that as he have heard from the beginning, he should walk in it. That's what he's talking about. You can fulfill love by actually keeping it. Now what he was talking about, now as, as far as the fulfilling, really, talking about in Matthew chapter five, but you're talking about he's talking about fulfilling what was written about him in the prophets. Like I like Isaiah 53, by his stripes are we healed. He fulfilled that through his death. Deuteronomy, or Deuteronomy, or Deuteronomy 18, 18, that person has been risen up just like Moses, and, and you know, listen to him, the Lord's going to require that of you. That's what he's talking about. Like, give me that, give me that, and I can go to a verse that literally says that. Give me Acts chapter 3, verse 18. This is the, this is Peter actually saying exactly what This is the book of Acts chapter 3 and verse 18. But those things which God before has shewed by the mouth of all his prophets, that Christ should suffer, he has so fulfilled. This is the book of Matthew, chapter 5. I have a little something. Great. Great. That is the gift of God. Romans chapter 6. This is the book of Matthew. This is Matthew chapter uh, 5 and verse 17. Think not that I am come to destroy the law. I said, think not that I come to destroy the law. Or the prophet. I am not come to destroy, but to fulfill. For verily I say unto you, till heaven and earth pass, one jot or one tittle shall, shall no wise pass from the law, till all be fulfilled. Whosoever therefore shall break one of these least commandments, break one of these commandments, and shall teach men so. He shall be called the least in the kingdom of heaven. What does that mean? That means what we're talking about. Literally, this is Christ saying, if you break the commandments and teach people to do so, you're going to call least. There's only the commandments in the, in the uh, so-called Old Testament. Right. Which ones? Which ones? It's Matthew 22. I'm gonna go like everything I can go to. Matthew 22. Watch this. Now give me, give me a uh, first shot five or three. This is the book of Matthew chapter 22 and verse uh, five, verse 37. Jesus said unto him. Thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thy heart. That's already in the commandments. And with all thy soul. No, that's, that's not you. Okay, that's, that's old. Okay, this is uh, Matthew uh, 22 and verse 36. I didn't say that. What? 22 and verse 36. We're going to read it. This is 34, I'm sorry, 34. But when, the, but when the Pharisees had heard that he had put the Sadis, Sadducees to silence, they were gathered together. Then one of them, which was a lawyer, asked him a question, tempting him and saying, Master, which is the great commandment in the law? Jesus said unto him, Thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thy heart and with all thy soul and with all thy mind 
This is the first and great commandment. And the second is like unto it. Thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. All, both of those things are found in the law of God. That's the gospel. That's, that's, the, that's the first. No, we, 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 no, that's not what he said. He's talking about the new commandment. Right? That's, that's actually a first John. When he says, dude, look at that Greek word for dude, it doesn't look to be dude. It's not And the reason you know that, I'm going to tell you why. The reason why you know that, he literally, he really, he literally quotes the Old Testament. He doesn't give you that. Even when he just said that, that's the Old Testament. And on top of that, we're not even in the new covenant. Even after Christ that we're not in the new covenant. And I can show it to you. Give me, give me. We're not the new covenant. We're not. That's great. I'll show you. I, like, you, you're looking at me crazy, but I'm going to go out to follow this. This is the book of Hebrews chapter 8 and verse 8. For finding fault with them, he said, Behold, the days come, said, said the Lord, when I will make a new covenant with the house of Israel. New covenant with the house of Israel. And with the house of Judah. New covenant is for Israel and Judah. Not according to the covenant that I made with their fathers in the day when I took them by the hand to let to lead them out of the land of Egypt. Because they continued not in my covenant, and I regarded them not, saith the Lord. For this is the new covenant. I'll tell you what the new covenant is. I'm going to show you how we got here. That I will make with the house of Israel after those days, saith the Lord. I will put my laws into their mind. The laws, the Old Testament laws in their mind. And write them in their hearts. And I will be to them a God, and they shall be to me a people. And they... And they shall not teach every man his neighbor. They shall not teach every man his neighbor. But no, hold up, hold up. You speak, you speak, you speak, you speak. You speak. No man shall teach his neighbor. People are going to churches and they're Sunday school. Bro, bro, brother, what comes to you right now? If you have to teach somebody, if you have to teach somebody about anything about God, you're not an Old Testament.